Um, I think we can this summer. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm scared. Well, there's a place we can go, and they have lots of helpers. Here we go to see him. Mom, why do you call baby June sissy? Oh, because sometimes I think that's cute. To be like, hey, sister. Well, it has been one week since I delivered a Jennifer June, and I am excited to show you Hello, honey. what our postpartum setup looks like right now. So I just fed her. I just showed you a little bit of our morning routine, but I am going to go shower. So I'm going to lay her down for a nap, and then I'm going to shower and get ready today. So she is one week old. And from my experience with having babies is day five is the hardest. It's like the bliss, the sleep de deprivation has set in. Um, you kind of feel the pain a little bit more, especially if you've had stitches. Um, your milk has come in, so that kind of brings another frustrating element because you have to navigate that now um oh your eyeballs they're everywhere <laughs> but i have also found that day seven is like the upward like yeah things are going well now so of course day five was kind of hard and now we're on day seven and i'm feeling a lot better we're getting nursing under control i do pump to alleviate my engorgement issues right now and what I would like to do is continue to nurse her and bottle feed her once a day or like three times a week so that she is used to a bottle and nursing. So, so far she's had three bottles and she's a week old and she seems to be doing well with both. Let's go lay down for a little nap. I have her all swaddled up and now it's mama's turn to get ready, okay? June, it's time to eat again. You did a good little nap. We're not making cupcakes. We're making cake. Yummo. I really wanted to give you guys a room tour of what my postpartum situation has looked like this past week because this is where I have literally hunkered down and there's a lot of things that I've loved using. And I just wanna give you a little peek of what we've been up to this week. Our room has been very loved in and used this week. So this is what the bed looks like every day. We have Jared's hip pillow, which I used for the first time the other day. And I was like, oh, no wonder he loves it. It's amazing. So we have that. I washed the sheets yesterday, so our comforter is still um, drying, so I brought out a blanket to keep us warm. Tommy brought in some toys. He and the kids are always coming in and out while I'm in here, which I love. We have our snoo right here. We originally had it over there, but her face kept getting really cold, so I moved it over here. We have used the snoo for Tommy and Jennifer June, and my sisters used it, my neighbors used it, and my cousins used it. This has been a very loved-in uh, baby product. We are obsessed with it. And then up here, we have all the things. We have extra diapers from last night I need to throw away. These don't fit her, so I need to put those away. Just our station. I have hand sanitizer. Jared fills up my drink for me all the time. And then honestly, I love these two things. This is just some nipple cream. And then this red light, I love so much. So I've been very sore and you can use red light to help heal. And so I've been doing a lot of red light on my boobs it's been great jared brought in the rocking chair in here from her nursery i just really love it i didn't know if i was gonna love this rocker as much as i do i really didn't think i was gonna like be in love with it and i am <laughs> i'm in love with it so much this is jackson's from his room that i use and then i've loved this boppy pillow this is the butter brand i love it because it is winter it gets like cold, but then I get really hot because of my hormones. I get sweaty really easy, especially at night, but I'm constantly turning on and off 
this heater. I love that in here. And these are the signs that the kids made for her, which I love. Jackson made this one. Welcome home, June. Get ready, because I'm going to smother you. <laughs> I don't know what this says. I hope you have a wonderful life. Ah, I just love you so much. That's so cute. Jackson is obsessed with her. This is Calvin. June, I love you. June, I will love you no matter what. And then this is Tommy's. Okay, over on the bed, we have diapers that I need to throw away, wet wipes, and I've been putting lots of Aquaphor on her feet and hands where they're extra cracked. Literally, see, this is like our pile all <laughs> up here. And then I did have a bunch of cords plugged in because I do keep my pump in here, but it's getting washed right now. So usually the pump will be right there on the charger. I've loved having this electric heating pad. I don't use it anymore, but like the first five days I had to use it for my bag. Um, I really like that. And then this is the snack bag from the hospital I've just kept in here. These bars, the only one I like is the blueberry one. It's the only one. So that's the one I'm obsessed with and I eat like four or five of these a day. I love them so much. My mom sent me flowers, so I love having these in here. And then Jared keeps track of my medicine. Her umbilical cord fell off at like five days. I think that is just crazy. So I'll just put that right there. <laughs> um, but I have my medicines that I take. And then I love taking turmeric and ginger. I do this a few times a day. And I feel like it's really helped keep my headaches at bay. I take this. It's Mama's Magic Milk Boost. And then I take this postpartum recovery a few times a day. So I do have a code for Earthly products. I really, really have enjoyed them. And then I have a basket right here that has diapers and wipes. And we've already gone through all of our newborn diapers. I literally think those might be the last ones, so we need to get some more ASAP. This is our bedroom and what we have just literally been living in, hunkering down. It like, I don't ever want it to end. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this for another week. I feel pretty good today, but I just wanna keep doing what I'm doing so I can continue to heal and feel better. This is the first day that I have ventured off and I left June here with Jared. So we are doing our own newborn photos tomorrow, like just a little mini photo shoot here at the house. And I fed her and I thought, okay, I have about two hours. And I was gone one hour and I went to the mall and I tried on some pants and some dresses and I ended up buying an outfit so that I could feel fresh for our photos and I had clothes that fit me. Um, my tops, I kept the same size I normally would buy. My pants, I bought uh, several sizes bigger than I normally am. And I hope I can get a lot of use out of them, but I didn't. I don't wanna just like wait until they fit me one day because I don't know if they will right now. And by the time they fit me, it's gonna be hot, hot, hot summer. I'm not gonna be wearing jeans, so. I got some jeans. <laughs> so that felt good to get out of the house for a minute, but I definitely am going to try and get a little cat nap in before the kids get home from school. Jared's so good. He fills up my water and he brings me my medicine. And um, we've had so many, so many amazing neighbors come and bring us dinner, which has been honestly so helpful. I've never had this many meals before. I've always had maybe two maybe three meals, um, which I'm always so grateful for. I cannot believe we've had so many people bring us dinners and I think there's another couple that's bringing us a dinner tonight and I'm so grateful because it helps Jared out too because he's trying to work and take care of the kids as well. So it's just like an extra nice thing that the community is doing for us. So that's my video. I really, really just wanted to show you guys kind of what our room looks like and kind of what my morning looks like a little bit with a new baby. She's so sweet. I 
I love holding her. I don't really utilize Jared very much because I would like him to be nice and rested in the daytime. <laughs> so we're not both sleep deprived. And...